Here in Manhattan, Kansas, it's homecoming week at Kansas State. And just a few days before Halloween, the Wildcats are trying to convince the nation they're not masquerading as Big 12 and national title contenders. Today, Bill Snyder Family Stadium welcomes the return of former K-State assistant Bob Stoops. His Oklahoma Sooners are trying to bounce back from a shocking loss last week to Texas Tech. It might have ruined their national title hopes. Landry Jones and the Sooners still control their own destiny in the Big 12 race. Travis Lewis wants to make sure there's no hangover from a week ago. First pass, finish off. They got to play up. They got to play off the home. Remember who you are, baby. Let's go. 12, 1, 2, 3, 12. They're averaging better than 44 points per game. Oklahoma. Hand it off to Roy Finch coming around. The fake to Finch will likely take over as the featured back and the pass on target last Saturday night after an hour and a half rain delay in Norman before the game started. Jones throws short for Finch. He has a first down and a good move to get extra yardage down inside the 30. Five receivers now for Jones. Four man rush. They don't get near him and another pass on target. This one to the tight end James Hanna. He's, he's one of the main keys. That kid, he sees things quickly, makes great decisions. After the fake to Finch, another open receiver. Ryan Broyles inside the five. Lunge for the pylon. A direct snap to Blake Bell, who came in for Landry Jones. And a touchdown for Oklahoma. Third down four. Klein, fake the run, he's in trouble, and sacked by Tom Wart. Back at the 35-yard line. Five wide receivers. Short pass, he needs to get to the 33. Might have been a face mask as well. And they're back at midfield. Jones throws to another open receiver. And it's Broyles, not to be upset for the second week in a row. Jones, plenty of time, and another receiver. First down to Dewan Miller. Two receivers to each side, including the tight end, Hannah, to the left. Jones sings one back of the end zone, caught. Touchdown, Dewan Miller. Just a four-man rush, and again, all day to throw for Jones, and he's on target. What a throw. Certainly in the same game. Those guys can really wing it. Landry Jones swings one out for Roy Finch. It's a block from Ryan Broyles. Remarkable streak for OU. They haven't lost consecutive games in a single season since 2003. Longest such streak in the country. Ryan Broyles up the far sideline. He's not a very big young man, but he is strong. Jones zips one in a coverage, and it is caught by Jazz Reynolds. <laughs> Looked like there were two K-State defenders poised to pick that off, and somehow it wound up in the hands of Reynolds at the 18-yard line. From the 18. Oklahoma trying to reclaim the lead. It's Reynolds again. Touchdown. The ball came out. After they signal touchdown, they haven't really pressured him much. Meshack Williams forced him out of the pocket. James Hanna the catch at midfield. Lock it. Taken down. They have to go a long way to get into field goal range, heading right into this stiff win. Hubert fumble the football. And it's recovered by Oklahoma. Ron L. Lewis has it. The same breeze that helped Cantelli kick a 54-yarder in this direction earlier in the game is at the back of Honeycutt. And that one is good. Just did wobble over the crossbar. Officially a 53-yarder to end the half. Sooners show blitz and bring it. And Klein is taken down behind the line of scrimmage by Frank Alexander. I think again, we're not surprised being a great <laughs> defensive player as you were. Jones on second and 11 in the K-State territory to Kenny Stills for a first down. Three receivers to the right of Landry Jones. 
Inside hand off to Finch. Inside the 35 and finally bang down. They fake it to Finch. Royals is wide open. Inside the 15. Still in bounds. Touchdown. Playing zones, you got to have a rush. They've not had pressure on him all day. Patrick O'Hara kicks off with the win. This one's returnable. For Tyler Lockett, about a yard deep in the end zone. And he stopped shy of the 15 yard line. Sooner showing blitz. They bring it. Finds in trouble and sacked. Four man rush. Jones has his man first down. James Hanna, the tight end, still running. Down to the six yard line. Big first down. Boys to take their biggest lead of the game. And Jones throws touchdown. One handed catch by Jazz Reynolds. That's the second impressive catch of the day for Reynolds. One on the sideline earlier, and then this one, it's just like, like it's his job. He just pulls it out of the air like it's no big deal. How about Reese doing it all? Telestration, analysis, studio hosting, tremendous play-by-play -play man. Klein is buried back at the 10-yard line. They have caught on to the running game now of Colin Klein. His previous nine rushes had netted a total of 11 yards, and now this one goes for a big loss. Andrew Jones, little swing pass out for Roy Finch. He's tackled. Hard to find the flaw in his game. Landry Jones throws and a nice catch. Ryan Broyles. Absolutely, and, and having said all that, Sean, certainly from a skill level, he's, he's capable and he's ready. Roy Finch rumbles into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Lewis can run and Jefferson can run. Here comes a blitz and another sack. Jefferson came on a blitz. Alexander nearby. Tom Wart, the middle linebacker, was blitzing, and it's the fourth sack of the day for the Sooners. I give them their credit. I mean, it wasn't like the 7-0 was against a steady stream of cupcakes. Landry Jones is deep, and it is caught by Stills. Bobbled it, but held on to it. Jones to the end zone, and it is caught by Trent Rattery, a tight end. Touchdown. Officially a sack, their fifth. They rush five. They can smell the blood, and they're out for it. They take him down again. That'll be another sack. Here they come again, and that's a coverage sack that... He came to rest as Chris Swihart, and Chris is the only one who considers Chris Swihart a celebrity or somebody you dress up after and consider it a costume. There's your 500 yards. Maybe that's why he's still in the game. The next catch for Broyles will be his 15th, which will match his career high. Hey, Miller, the fullback. Touched the ball much more often than any fullback in the Stoops here, and that's why. Wow, what a run. Touchdown. 61 yards. And, Sean, did you see Ryan Broyles at the end of that? He wanted Miller to get in just as much as the running back himself. Just does a nice job. On the other side, you're going to see him pick up the block. And he is going to see him eyeballing him. He picks out the fastest one who can get there, and he makes his choice. They have 643 yards of total offense. Still a long way to go to the school record in that category. It's 875. Williams. Bob Stoops, as is the way under Stoops at Oklahoma. They just don't have losing streaks. Very impressive performance after the major disappointment of last Saturday night. 690 yards of offense. Longtime friends wish each other well. Landry Jones, a school record 505 yards and five touchdowns. 
Oklahoma scored on its first five possessions of the second half and pulled away. Kansas State offense shut down by Stoops defense in the second half. K-State at 32 yards of offense in the second half. The Sooners had seven sacks. Final score, Oklahoma 58, Kansas State 17. Coming up next on ESPN, stay tuned for College Football Scoreboard. Now for Matt Millen, Heather Cox, and our entire crew led ably by producer Bo Garrett and director Mike Roy. Sean McDonough saying so long from Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs>